COVID-19 testing continued at Miller Park Saturday, where dozens of people lined up in their cars waiting to get tested. But while there are a lot of people here, health officials say testing numbers are still down. Since kind of the peak of testing, we've dropped off a fair, a fair amount. Cars lined up one right after the other outside Miller Park with people waiting to get tested for the coronavirus. I'm heading back to Madison, but just kind of wanted to make sure that given that travel that we were doing it safely. Don't have any symptoms myself, but you can never be too safe. While it's a sight many healthcare officials are happy to see, there's still a big concern that not enough people are getting tested for the virus. Our testing numbers are also lower, so we're catching fewer of those infections. And we're told the less people who get tested, the less likely health officials are able to accurately tell how many people contracted the virus. There's been a pretty significant reduction in the overall number of cases that we're confirming each day. Where we were once confirming about 100 cases a day, we're now confirming closer to 30. Meanwhile, on Saturday, it had been reported that zero patients were being cared for inside the alternate care facility, which to some health officials was actually a good thing. When you look at the alternative care facility not having any patients, it means that hospital capacity is improved. But there's still more work to be done. The number of people uh, hospitalized for COVID-19 is down, but it still remains at a level that you know, we'd like to see it much lower. If you spent the holiday with your family or a loved one and haven't had any symptoms, but are thinking about getting tested, health officials recommend that you wait at least three to five days before getting that test to get the most accurate results. Reporting in Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.